her fourth at the 12th. Yeah, walked it in. Japan's Yuna Nishimura, her third at the 15th. Then the fourth shot at the 12th for Jibba Drybora. Here she was at the par three eighth already at this point, three under. Such a smooth swing this was, taking dead aim and advantage of these soft conditions. One of a couple of times that she hit the five wood. Uh, she talked about that relief that she feels after Sunday being over. I was talking to her on Monday. I said, how do you feel? She was tired. Kind of favor players with with low spin. Here you are, you get to the 10th hole. You see the leads at nine under par. Out at a time. When you think about that, it's amazing what she was able to accomplish with her back against the wall, trying to make that Solheim Cup team. You know, I look back in my notes, and even when she was at Stanford, she had the phrase, embrace the opportunity. A share of the lead at Walton Heath just a few weeks ago, Lilia Booth. It really doesn't surprise me, because when she was at UCLA, she would go on streaks. She won eight times in college. This was just a moment ago at 16, Karis Davidson for birdie. Yeah, well done, Karis. Born in Scotland, grew up in Australia. Drop back to the ninth and Megan Kang now. Shame that left rough is not a great place to be. It's so thick and juicy. Have to take a lot more club to get through that rough, but what a shot. Yeah, the rough's hard if it's dry. Four yards behind this one. Good lie here. Back into the wind. Very difficult for her to get to back hole locations given the amount of spin that she gets on the ball, but well judged there. It's from 130 from that first cut. No problem with the trees on the left. Can go right at this flag. Nice, nice shot. Oh, another brilliant shot. And at the 16th, just moments ago, Christina Kim for birdie. Three in a row. And the good start gets even better. Five under and head out to the 11th where we're catching up with Brooke Henderson. This just a moment ago. A great birdie on a hole that has proven quite difficult today. They get um, an invite to the Portland Classic, which had been amazing for this award. Um, they get right into the second stage, and they get a, a mentorship with me, which I know, Grant, you take high priority in that. Uh, um, and look, look at all, look what the mentoring has led to. <laughs> well, you know, I can the chip. Grade. I can chip. And she should be able to get it to stop from here. I don't expect it to do too much after that. She's at a good distance. She shouldn't have to spin. Paul would not spin too much with that. Captain late Stacy Lewis is paying close attention as she hits her approach into the 11th. Oh, brilliant. And a couple darts. Just a few days after winning for the first time. Yeah, it's a high. It's a whirlwind. Everybody congratulating you and just excited for you, especially Megan, such a popular player out here who's been looking now for eight years. Yeah. Well, that opening round last week, 75, and probably even the third round, Morgan, you have to, I think, attribute a lot of it to nerves playing in front of the home fans wanting to give them a thrill. They don't want me in the mix. Now, <laughs> Brooke Anderson on the tee at the 13th. Yeah. It was from 155. It's a little helping wind in this. Yeah. Very good. with the gap wedge, 94 yards to the hole. Let's see, Let's see how accurate she can be. Yeah. 
Yeah, knew it was going to spin back, trying to control that a bit. She does have room behind it. There's about seven paces behind this hole if she were to take it in from the backside. Drawing this one towards the hole. Good spin control there. There was awful lot of pressure and responsibility on her shoulders last week and has to feel kind of nice for her to relax a little bit. Well, especially considering her record here, having won twice and familiar with this golf course. But yeah, coming from Canada. We could all learn from this tempo. Nothing forced in this putting stroke. She was four over par through 14 holes in the first round last week, needing a 13th place finish or better. And I thought working it back to just two over in round one at least gave her. Let's check out this shot with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Normally I'd say this is a sucker hole occasion, but with no wind and soft greens. Well, Lilia just drawing Ooh. it in with a seven iron. Gorgeous. Fantastic. So severely upslope. Yeah, I like this play, Paige. It, it takes also a little bit of the bump out of the fringe as hard as you have to hit it to get it back to this whole location. Avoid that potential little wobble out of the fridge or fringe. With a six iron, might play a little more conservatively. Mm -hmm. She kind of fanned that one, but it's not going to hurt her any. That's a, that's a good miss. These international team events, very comfortable with the different formats. This is Gina Kim, and she's on quite a roll. She's missed nine of her last ten cuts. That's the bad roll. She's on a great roll today. Seven under as she plays the sixth hole. Head over to the 11th with Nana kurtz Matson. Very nicely judged. This screen has fooled quite a few people, but from that angle, it's nearly dead straight. And this is just from 88 yards, and what a nice spot to play from, right in the middle of the fairway. Three hundred, and as we mentioned, had a really good season last year. Uh oh. Mistake hasn't there, done, but uh, yeah. hasn't done that too many times this year, Grant. <laughs> no, no, but number one in the world, just the fourth American to reach the top spot. And at the seventh, we have Gina Kim. Hot round of the afternoon. Short par five. 128 yards to the hole. Flag. Kind of tucked back behind the bunker towards the back right part of the green. It's a very smart play. At the 14th, Lilia Vu. Dealing with an uneven lie with her gap wedge. That's 106 yards to the hole. Oh, I'd say uh, she landed that 106. <laughs> play at a high level. It wasn't like she came from out of nowhere. She'd been playing very well, continuing to do so. Uh, just being in the first cut here, I think, will help her. Doesn't have to worry about any backspin. Cutting from hole high left. Slightly downhill, a little left to right break. For a bounce back birdie. Megan Kang to pick up another shot at 12. The floodgate looks like it's uh, opening. We'll see. The afternoon wave, Hinako Shibuno. She was in contention last year here. And a really nice opening round, 67 for the AIG Women's Open champ. A couple of inches outside the right. Oh, 
Commerce District. Well done. And a good bounce back from the double bogey on the previous hole. He's got a shot, which is good. And fortunate to not run all the way back into that penalty area. Titicoon sitting beautifully. 134 yards to the hole. Jody Ewart shot off at the lengthy birdie putt. This is going to be quite a bit uphill. Yeah. Just oh, a moment ago, and that will bring her to even par. Back to back birdies on the par 5 12th. She was the only one to use driver, hit it dead straight on a string, and that was a nine iron. Oh, yeah, she is rewarded. Down the hill, pull a little to her right. Oh, that's only given up 19 birdies, so not. Again, got to be careful of that false front. It's on a good line. That's on a better line, Karen, right at that TV tower. Lands it past the flag there on the second. Here's Gita Kim for par the eighth. And okay, that kind of a day. I mean, if career best is 66, it's a short career. I mean, last year she started out in the 15. And just a moment ago, Ataya Titicone had this putt for birdie. All nine paces on, 27 footer. Yeah. Oh, wow. And Paige, she's made over 100 feet of putts today. And oh. cap it off. Hey, Paige, that was a nice birdie with the rain just starting to fall again. Lexi Thompson for birdie. Okay. Just the second time this year that Lexi has played in consecutive weeks. And so Megan King is earning points Already for next year with that victory. Oh. Playing the 14th. That was an interesting reaction. Says that it came out a lot heavier than what she was expecting. We'll get it. will be even more difficult to gouge through. Lilia Vu did make bogey at 15. Oh. Boot away last year on Sunday. 15. Four away here. Trying to make birdie. From off the green. Well, it's been a consistent season for Ayaka. Another good start. At 14, Nana Kurtz Madsen for birdie. Not a lot of break in this putt. This is a pretty flat area on this 14th green. We go over to the ninth and catch up with the round of the day in the afternoon so far. This is Gina Kim. And a chance to share the lead. Not quite enough, but an excellent day for a player that came into this week off of five missed cuts. She has shot a now new career low on the LPGA Tour in her second season. Now Brooke Henderson from the left side of the fairway. And from 143, trying to draw it in. Working it off the ridge a little. Three-tier green. Since then. Oh. Can't get anything to fall right now, Morgan. Wow, that looked good for a while. That broke right across the hole. I feel like since she was the runner up, D. Rose Zhang. 15. And Megan Kang out of the thick rough. Good judgment. Not only judgment on contact, but then the release on the 18th hole. 
not that there was a pitch involved there, but right. on the full shot, that was knowing what she needed to do. Getting it done on the final hole to tie Jin Young Ko and force a playoff left to play. Now Andrea Lee. This for her seventh birdie today. And Paige, she had a five wood into this hole like she did at nine. Hit another good one. It was a good putt. It just kind of wiggled right about three feet before the hole. Very nicely done. Birdies two over last three. This was a moment ago at the 16th Jody Ewart shot off. Oh, where did that pitch? How did that miss the flags? Now she can just take dead aim right here. She likes to play that little bit of a fade. Working it off the center of the green. In the past, this entire golf course for sure. Scoring average right now, more than one stroke under par gone down a little bit since we came on the air a few hours ago. Just with the rain stopping for the better part of the afternoon. Dunking that tee shot, this for birdie. Yeah, Worth the wait, two under. <laughs> and a nice rally from a tough start. D8 to avoid the water. CK from those practice swings, just how much moisture is in this rough. Yeah, it is thick, and, and wow, what an accurate shot there. Thought she'd go a little further right. She cut it a little close. Yeah, maybe the rough turned the club over. Well, the defense hasn't rested yet. Andrea Lee, 66, the last year's winner. Wichani Michai at the 16. This has oh, promise. Oh, yeah. Chani gets it to four under with back-to-back -back birdies. This is Mina Haragai, just off the green on 15. And that'll help the putting stats. And a very clean card for Mina. Is some of these new golf courses like Liberty National debuted this year hard? I love it. I like a good tough test. I, I'm not a fan of what you we would call a birdie fest or one where showing a lot of confidence here with her chipping. A lot of players would elect to putt this one. She used wedge off the green on 11 earlier in the day as well. And you think with the soft conditions that you might less be less likely to do that, but trust in the bounce. Solid par for Megan Kang. See if Mina can go back to back from off the green. This is her second at 16. This came all the way back down that false front. No. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of chuckle at that one. Over the 16th, Caroline Inglis. This is her home club. Wow. Made an ace here last year at the 13th hole and Gets that one to drop at 16. It's like a point, just a fraction of mud on this golf ball on the left side. Let's see, if, the question is, when you, if you do have mud on the golf ball, do you think it's going to stay on the golf ball, or is it going to fall off right away? Already about making that team next year, the ones that maybe felt like they were close, a player like an Allison Lee mm -hmm. on the American side, and just didn't quite make it now and that was one of the things I know Stacy talked to a, a lot of those players about is hey cool moment this for a bogey free 66 okay took a little victory lap like she did Sunday in Canada darn near one again the next event Huge Sunday from Matai Titikin stopped her from doing that. 
but a good opener.